you'd never guess who's actually close behind closed doors. So today we're going over Hallmark actors that are best friends. You'll probably not be surprised at this friendship as they have the most iconic one yet. It's something so extraordinary that we can all look up to. Can you guys guess who we're talking about? It's Candace Cameron Bure and Danica McKellar. These two power-packed performers have the cutest friendship ever. Danica McKellar recently revealed what she admires about Candace Cameron Bure. Both former child performers have achieved fame on the Hallmark Channel. They've known each other for almost 30 years. In a Christmas podcast by Bure, she even invited Danica McKellar. I mean, how cute is that? Here. I'm so glad that you're here. I feel like we we really have grown up together. And yes. I feel like our careers have been side by side for so many years. We've done, and yet, like we've had a friendship. The two have been seen together at different events, including a Hamilton play. Danica admires Candace because she is continually pouring so much love, kindness, and positivity into this planet. She looks up to the fellow Hallmark star as an influence in her own life. Danica posted a photo of the two together on Instagram on Candace's 45th birthday, calling her my friend and sister sleuther. She recounted their experiences on their separate series, The Wonder Years and Full House, growing up together. In the podcast, they reveal how they first met that led to their beautiful friendship. I think we met when I went to a taping of Growing Pains. <gasps> no way! Yes, and you were there with your mom. Uh-huh. It was very brief, um, but I was there. Danica also revealed that she was experiencing Jesus after Candace Cameron Bure invited her to church. Danica was dealing with the concept of forgiveness, and a Bible phrase Candace read sparked some thoughts inside of her. So she contacted Candace to seek clarification. Candace responded by asking her to church and sending her a Bible. Apparently, Danica McKellar benefited much from that answer. McKellar discovered she'd had the wrong picture of Christianity all along after visiting church with Candace. In an Instagram post, Danica posted thanking Candace for opening her eyes. Yes, it's a, it's a decision and a relationship with God. It's The world is wanting us to, to say, yeah, thank you so much. This is exactly what having Christ feels like. They also have a movie together called Camp Cucamonga, starring Jennifer Aniston. If you haven't watched it already, what are you waiting for? Well, this just tore us up. Who isn't lucky to have a friendship like they do? Next up, we have your favorite Hallmark dream boats and all-time favorite on-screen couples who've had numerous movies together. Andrew Walker and Nikki Deloche are favorites who give us a classic example of a long-lasting friendship. In an interview with People, the real-life friends discuss their chemistry and connection bonding over parenthood and their 2020 Hallmark movie, Sweet Autumn. They have the kind of natural chemistry and charming rapport that has turned into a great long-term friendship in several memorable TV movies. The actors, both 41, star in Sweet Autumn, their third Hallmark film together, which released back in 2020. Here is a glimpse of their friendship on Hallmark movies and mysteries. Truly, like, so so bright and really, really, really intelligent and knows a lot about a lot of things. They've been buddies since they met back in 2016 and collaborated on their first channel film, A Dream of Christmas. After four years, the actors' friendship and families have grown. Deloach has two kids, Hudson, six years old, and Bennett, three, with husband Ryan Goodell, while Walker and his wife, Cassandra, have two sons, West, age five, and Wolf, 10 months old. In a podcast with Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, the two actors revealed how they felt reuniting on screen after a really long time. Tony just like, uh, he before every take, he would go, energy, energy. Yeah, um, yeah energy. <laughs> and energy. Energy, energy. Um, but that was the vibe. This is so wholesome. Our hearts can't take it. In an interview with People, Nikki opened up about Andrew saying, I am so grateful too, because I am so crazy and a maniac inside of COVID. Anybody who has worked with me or knows me knows the lengths to which I've gone to to protect my family. So having a co-star that knows my family and understands how compromised my youngest is meant a lot because I could text Andrew and say, hey, are you cool with testing? And he's like, whatever you need. Hey, are you cool with this? Whatever you need. That was always their response. He was like, how can I make you feel safe and comfortable and support you? And so that was huge for me. I knew that yes, we have a great chemistry and yes, he's a great actor 
And yes, we're going to do a good movie. But also, how is this experience going to be for me outside all of that? And so it was really perfect. We love actors supporting each other, specifically during the bad times. They also opened up about working with each other and shared their honest thoughts. I mean, I would love to work with my best friend on a movie if I got the chance. Like a, a work ethic and a like, you know, there's a formula to success if you want to, um, if you want to do your best work. And I think that we approach that from a very uh, similar perspective. Well, aren't they the cutest? We hope this friendship lasts forever and we get more wholesome content from them. Moving on, we have Candace Cameron Bure again, who has developed meaningful relationships over the years with an actress who starred in Fuller House. Can you guess who that is? Yes, it's our Kimmy and DJ, who are best friends in real life as well. Fuller House may be finished, but cast members Candace and Andrea Barber, who played lifelong best friends DJ Tanner and Kimmy Gibbler, will be back on set shortly. Bure and Barber were co-stars in the famous sitcom Full House as Children. They later returned as DJ Tanner and Kimmy Gibbler in the Netflix spin-off series Fuller House. While it's unclear whether Fullest House will ever happen, it's evident that the two will continue to collaborate on other projects in the meanwhile. Candace and Andrea are best friends and racing partners in real life. In Bure's podcast, she invited Andrea for a Christmas special where they reveal that they still call each other by their Fuller House names. Yes, we actually call each other Kimmy and DJ <laughs> whenever we see each other for the first time. It's just like it's old habit. It's just love of so many years of playing characters, but we do. It, it's really cheesy, it just makes but me it lasts. How adorable is that? We're having a moment here, everyone. Andrea also has her own Christmas movie coming on GAC Family, Candy Cane Lane, to which Bure said, Having a 30-year bestie friendship both on and off camera has allowed me to find the perfect project to introduce the Christmas genre audience to. Her brilliant comedic skills, her heartwarming authenticity and vulnerability that is a rare gem today. Just as I have, audiences will fall in love with Andrea's warmth and relatability and chuckle along with her all the way down Candy Cane Lane. Apart from doing movies together, they are also racing partners. In an interview with Women's Running, Barbara recalls running her first race four years ago at Disney's Tinkerbell Half Marathon with a few buddies. It was meant to be a fun run. It wasn't meant to be serious at all. But something happened out there around the middle of the race. I felt that runner's high. I crossed the finish line and I was changed forever. What started out as a fun run ended up changing my life completely. And so Barbara's love of running began. Meanwhile, Bure, inspired by Barber's half-marathon accomplishment, decided to give running a try. Barber invited Bure to join her in a 10K obstacle race, which was ideal for Bure because it broke up the monotony of running alone. While her biggest run to date has been 10 miles, she hopes to join Barber for a half-marathon one day. In Bure's podcast, she revealed that they do have a strong friendship and talk almost every day. So we we talked or FaceTimed ev almost every single day. Yep. And so I feel like we went through both of our experiences together and we had so many laughs. We had a few tears. We had a few frustrations. Like Bure posted on Instagram a throwback picture with Andrea Barber. Isn't this the cutest friendship ever? It's screaming goals. Next up, we have Hallmark's iconic trio, and all three of them are heartthrobs. It is indeed a blessing to see all of them together, and what's exciting is that they're all friends in real life too. Well, you probably might know who we're talking about. The three wise men and a baby actors are good friends in real life. Andrew Walker, Tyler Hines, and Paul Campbell are all good friends. Although Tyler and Andrew have been friends for a long, long time, Hines revealed that the friendship between Campbell had a rocky start. But guess what? If it is your first time on our channel, we want to give you the best experience with our content. And to keep these videos coming, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. With that out of the way, let's see what these three thick friends are into. Campbell, who is also a scriptwriter, authored the 2021 Hallmark Channel film, An Unexpected Christmas, in which Heinz starred. When Heinz first read the script, he said he was so taken with it that he emailed Campbell to thank him and introduce himself, but it turned out they'd already met. Heinz said, As soon as I read that script, I spoke to Paul immediately and told him how much I loved him. Heinz continued, 
I stopped him at a party. I don't remember. I was just trying to get home. A few too many drinks, he added. Me, Paul, and Andrew now are sort of a triumvirate. Three Wise Men and a Baby is not actually the first film when they all got to work together. In 2021, the pals appeared in each other's Hallmark Christmas movies. In Walker's My Family Christmas Tree, Hines makes an unexpected cameo as a waiter. Walker then made a brief appearance in An Unexpected Christmas as a patron in a bar who ran into Hines. Campbell revealed to E! News in December 2021 how Walker and Hines ended up in one another's films, including the one he created. Campbell said, Andrew was in town shooting his movie, and I know they were hanging out, and Andrew was like, hey, why don't you come and show up in the background? And Tyler was like, great, why don't you come show up in ours? It kind of started as a joke, and then everybody realized what a great idea it was. In Hallmark Live with the three hunks, they revealed their favorite off-screen moments. Found myself laughing harder at moments, just, you know, during lunchtime or costume changes in between scenes. There were times when I was incapacitated with laughter. And <laughs> seeing Tyler in his... And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Their friendship is just adorable, and we hope to see more of them in movies together. Do you know any other best friends from Hallmark? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, for all your support on each video. See you next time.